Right, hi Steve, good to see you again. Hi Rob, good to see you. So next on the menu, so Scarpa's world domination tour in the world of rock boots is now well documented, I think, uh, not least because of the fact that, well, you go climbing now, you see Scarpa's uh, absolutely everywhere. Now, on the running side of things, I know that Scarpa have basically been upping the ante in terms of their range for a little while now, but this year I feel like it's really coming to fruition and the Rebelle run that you've got for us here today seems to be like that sort of flagship product that represent where they're taking the range. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Well, um, the Rebelle run has been born by our new uh, category and brand manager, uh, Marco de Gasperi. And if anyone uh, is familiar with, uh, with, with Marco, they'll know that he... You know, a bit like Heinz Mariaka in rock shoes has been there and got got the T-shirt and comes with a fantastic amount of uh, of, of know-how as to how to build the right kind of running shoe. So uh, he joined us in the early part of spring twenty, um, right at the start of the pandemic. Um, uh, not 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 the not the best of times, but he's been working away and has and has started to influence the product range in a big way. And uh, the most significant flagship product that we've got now is the uh, the new Rebelle Run which uh, is this beast here. Um, it's suited towards short to medium distance trail and sky running. I think crucially, it's got tremendous sensitivity with protection qualities at, at the same time. Um, it has a lot of the DNA of a true Scarpa product, not just you know, a, a new generation of run, running products. So the eagle eye will spot that many of the design lines and cues with this uh, heel randing slingshot um, a very, very well matched to what you're seeing in our mountaineering line, for example. So, you know, the, the Rebelli mountaineering line now goes into the, to the, or the DNA of that goes into the Rebelli run in, in a great way. Um, internally, we've got a new last with um, our sock fit construction in the, in the tongue area, uh, a new speed lacing system with a very neat um, lace pocket for, for, for tying that, that, that away, um, elasticated gusset around the ankle here, which is great for fit and also for, for stone protection getting in, in into the shoe there as well. It's super lightweight at 300 grams. It's going to feature the new Prazer technology in the outsole. So again, that's Scarpa's um, in-house branded sole units where we feel we can, with our technical expertise in, in sole units over many years, design a sole that gives fantastic adhesion and um, friction and um, durability without without compromise. So that's going to be molded uh, in uh, in a speed force unit with their four mil lugs underneath. So a really really good all round grip on all types of terrain, wet and dry. Well, as someone who's done a lot more running throughout these recent lockdowns, partially because that's mostly what, with what I've been able to do from where I'm based, I can't wait to give these a go because they look like well. They look like a real good balance, as you say, between weight, uh, but also with the, you know, still having that sole unit that packs a punch. Because I always think that from a continental perspective, a lot of their, the running that they do out in um, Europe is often more trail based. Whereas what we tend, well, certainly what I tend to do is less trail based and more, well, I guess, fell based. And it gets flipping muddy, flipping wet and flipping grassy at times. And this looks like it actually has the ability to actually deal with both quite well. It's got adequate cushioning and adequate grip. And it looks like, I mean, again, this is one of the shames of these digital trade shows is that I'm not there to actually pick it up and feel it, but it looks like an incredibly refined product. Yeah, I think um, you know, everyone who has had this in the hand, uh, in, in, in the flesh, has been super impressed with it. Um, you know, it, it's the sort of shoe that's definitely going to appeal to its target end consumer of, 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 of you know, serious um, runners who are you know, getting out you know, two, three times a week as an absolute minimum and, and, and really know exactly what they're looking for in a product. But I think this is going to be picked up by all sorts of, um, of outdoor enthusiasts. You know, would you use this as, as, an, as an approach to um, it's got great grip, it's got great protection, it's super light, clip that on your harness, use it as an approach shoe as well. It's, it's just a great mountain shoe. I was just about to say exactly the same thing. I guess some of these products, you know, become quite blurry in their lines. But the fact is, I mean, look at the rest of the Rebelle range. You know, it's, a, it's very much a lightweight mountaineering range. And this is almost like the training and approach shoe end of that spectrum, isn't it, with the run? Um, and I've no doubt as well that this is 
by no means the last product that we're going to see within Marco's uh, probably long list of uh, developments that he has in, in store for the brand. Yeah, I mean, as we enter spring um, 21 now, we literally have two models in the in the UK that are carryover from our previous collection. We'll launch a lot of new product th this year and, and, and more for, for, for spring 2022. So, yeah, the, the pipeline is very, very full. It's never a dull moment at Scum for I'm sure there must be some occasions, Steve, where you just want at least a bit of rest in between them. But it's great to see so many like good, innovative products coming out from the brand. Yeah, I think um, you know sometimes stability is great, but we get bored very quickly, and we like to move <laughs> move, move things on. And you know, when you get products like this landing, then there's never a dull moment. Cool. Well, thanks for taking us through that, Steve. Really exciting, and can't wait to get a pair of them because they look unbelievably cool. Great, fantastic. Thanks, Rob.